Leslie, congratulations on winning your first classical game to uh, Magnus Carlsen. Um, first, why do you think it took so long? <laughs> ah, well, it's never easy. It's very tough. Mm -hmm. um, and also, it's hard to beat somebody who you look up to for so many years when I was a kid and who have studied so many games of and uh, and the, yeah at first when I played him I get into so much pressure that's you know my first idea was to hold the game it's hard to even think about beating and also he comes very well prepared for the openings and he's just he's a very good player so right. hard to get chances do you think after yesterday that maybe you you uh, have been a little bit too cautiously uh, perhaps pre in previous games or uh, no I think it's not too cautious but uh, it's just a normal part of life mm -hmm. and um, <coughs> well sometimes your chances don't come but sometimes they have to come well after analyzing my game yesterday where before move 40 it was like plus six or plus seven mm -hmm. So I definitely had to beat him yesterday. <laughs> if not, I never beat him. Yeah, Maxim actually said if uh, if Wesley doesn't beat him here, he should stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it almost did happen. If on move forty, if he went the other square with the queen, yeah. queen d seven, then it might be much harder. But fortunately, he only had a few minutes left. After queen c six, it's over. It's like mm -hmm. what plus eleven. Right. Um. And yeah, well, the engine always gives a large advantage, but. Over the board, you still have to win the win the game. Mm -hmm. Remember last year against Sergey, computer shows him totally winning, but over the board it wasn't actually very clear. But yeah, I simply had to had to win that game, with, considering how big my advantage was in the right. end. The first thing you said in the studio was, uh, "I caught him on an off day." Um, you did you think he he played worse than uh, than his usual level? Ah, uh, yeah, I would I would guess so. Because, uh, well, in the opening he was playing some sideline moves. So I thought he was avoiding main lines, trying to avoid exchanges and maybe play for a win. And uh, in what he played, he ran into some trouble. And then he made some inaccuracies. So, yeah, usually the, he <coughs> defends much better. So I would say uh, it's an off day, objectively. Uh, but, yeah, win is a win. Right, yeah. yeah. And <coughs> I think for yourself, you must feel that you actually played a quite a good game yesterday. Yeah, compared to my other games, I think I played right. <laughs> <laughs> I played decently because, uh, you know, the last few months have been quite uh, tumultuous for me. Like, it's up and down mm -hmm. and uh, I had some bad games and good games and I had many games where I couldn't convert my advantage. Um, but yeah, yesterday I didn't really make big mistakes. I made all the m most natural moves. Um, but usually, you have to do something special to, to win a game right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. in this tournament. So now we have the situation that you are a half a point behind. You're both playing MVL and Mamed Yarov. And then you have this extra game with Black against Caruana uh, compared to Magnus sitting out one round. So. How do you rate your chances to uh, to uh, finish at, <coughs> at least tight with uh, with him? Ah mm. uh, well, right now the chances seem decent, mm -hmm. mm. quite good. Well, anything can happen with three games. Uh, just have to play my really good chess. Um, but I think it's an open tournament. Well, obviously, if Magnus drew me yesterday, then he'd probably win it like eighty percent or nine percent. Mm -hmm. But now it's an open tournament because. Uh, like almost all the players, all the other players are in 50%. So if they win one or two games, then they can suddenly win the mm -hmm. tournament. Yeah, they probably need to win two games. So, plus two. Yeah, probably plus two is even enough for tied first mm -hmm. in this tournament. And plus three will definitely get clear first. But it's hard to see anyone getting plus three. Yeah, and... <coughs> In a theoretical situation that you would have to play a, a playoff with Magnus, uh, I guess he would be uh, the favorite. But on the other hand, um, winning the Blitz might give you some extra confidence there. Yeah, I won the Blitz and <laughs> <laughs> did some practice. Uh -huh. uh, 
if it's Blitz, then he's a big favorite because he's he, he basically wins all the Blitz tournaments that mm -hmm. he joins in. Uh, but I guess if we uh, if I ever go into a playoff with everyone to fight for first place, I'll be very happy because mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to even fight for first place in here. And actually, I'm now re realizing we have been talking about a lot about your your cooking partner uh, because you were cooking together with Magnus. So how did you enjoy uh, that cooking day? Well, it's very good. Well, I wasn't expecting to team up with him, actually. Yeah? I mm -hmm. thought, you know, prepare up with somebody. But then I got him right away. So, <laughs> But it's very good. I think we had team cooperation. Uh, we did also what other players do, which is look up in YouTube how to cook <laughs> <laughs> which very useful how to make sauce good. yeah and think uh, we had very good teamwork for the most part we were reading the recipes and, and discussing what to do but the thing is we had so much time that in the end we sh simply confused ourselves mm -hmm. uh, because the recipe says you know to just peel and cut the vegetables mm -hmm. and nothing else so to Magnus it made sense not to cook the vegetables <laughs> and I thought about it and I thought it makes sense too so he suggested we just leave it fresh yeah so that and healthy eating and but then you lost points for not boiling them right yeah we lost a lot of points <laughs> when then we still got second place I'm pretty sure we would have won first if we cooked the vegetables which uh -huh. took two, two minutes because at one point we were just standing there doing nothing yeah because <laughs> we had uh, 90 minutes to finish the competition and we don't want to cook our fish right. until the last minute, so it's hot. So we were just standing there, <laughs> enjoying life. <laughs> but we should have cooked the... And then we saw all the other players were cooking veggies, yeah? <laughs> but we want to be <laughs> we want to be different, and we don't care what they do. <laughs> right. want to be original. But, yeah, apparently no one, no one likes uh, raw asparagus. <laughs> but next time. Okay, <coughs> I guess you learned something there. Thanks a lot and good luck in the tournament. Thank you, Peter. <laughs>